Hello, it's Jang here with a review of something that hasn't existed for quite some time now. A new Mega Constructs Halo set. This is Forge Hog vs. Banished Goliath, and obviously it's based on Halo Wars 2. So let's get right into it. So this is Forge's personal, highly upgraded and armored uh, Warthog that has been fully upgraded to Gauss Hog Edition, Gauss Hog Status. And at first glance, it looks pretty good and looks pretty accurate. This is definitely, definitely not just another recolor of the most recent style of build. I guess they did start to, to change it up with the, the last one, but this goes even farther from the traditional build that we've had for years before that. Uh, this is really built up from the ground up. There are a lot of pieces that are covered up behind there. There's a lot of plate-wise construction on the inside. It does have working suspension with rubber springs that uh, basically you just have a rubber tube that goes across silicone. But the weight of this thing is such that uh, the suspension is always compressed by default when it's on the ground. So it's not able to stay up, but you know, you get to see those wheels come down and yeah, you know, so you still have some articulation there, but it's just not something where you're going to be able to, to push down on it from the top. This uses a, a nice metallic color for some of the accents. It's a, kind of a metallic olive, uh, olive green. So it's used there, it's used in there, and you'll see it a few spots up on the, the turret itself. This is a firing turret, so you can actually shoot off a projectile and have an additional projectile on the side here. If you don't want to use that, don't, but I think it still looks pretty good overall. A uh, completely new canopy here and a, a built up, I mean, this is individual pieces, a nice built up uh, roll cage, partial roll, roll cage and bull bar set up on the front. Most of the, the actual bumper here just on the front, the front most part of it is mostly one single piece, but most of the rest is is built up with, with individual parts. You can open up the sides here. This is a nice little setup with the unique mold that they did for the the windows or the the armor, I guess. I guess that would be partly see-through. I, I don't know exactly what type of material that's supposed to be, but yeah, that opens up well and you get some prints inside of there. Let me open up the other side, a little, a little more light in there. So you get just a couple of printed console pieces with the, the center and the one on the right and there's also the steering wheel in there obviously it's going to be a little bit more difficult to put a figure in this than it is one of the older ones just because you have more pieces of course you can always just take that whole roof section off entirely if you want the uh, you are able to get a full 360 degree rotation for the cannon and that just has the usual you know, ability to go up and down you also have Little bit closer in articulation you can bring it down bring it up to adjust it for for figures bunch of jerry cans on the back and over on this side properly stowed in its normal stowed away position is the, the little drone the little helper drone and that will just pull right off and they actually include in this set a little clear bar so you can just hold that like so and that'll attach into anything that has a bar sized opening. They actually had at least one of these jumper pieces to spare in the set. That's not a very wide base, but you can, it, it's good enough, but there are plenty of other places you can, you can attach that around the vehicle. And this looks nice again, using the metallic olive green color, just using the little shield pieces, the, the barrier pieces from the sides, you know, used for the sides of machine guns and also the, the Gauss turret. And that is a printed part right there with a little bit of metallic light blue. So yeah, that, that works out well. And again, you can just attach that. So you've got even a, a whole row of hollow studs back here. You can just do like so, give yourself a little bit of, a little bit of defense. Yeah, overall the thing looks good. Has a bunch of, of prints. Uh, you know, it's been a little while and fortunately quality has uh, not decreased at all. Um, as far as I could tell, fitment is as good as it's ever been for Mega Constructs. Uh, all the pieces were there. Uh, there was a little bit of confusion at a couple spots in the in the manual, but 
it's pretty easy to, to get past that. A very nice build, a very proper build. You know, you really put together so much of this. It's, this does have some large specialized pieces on it, but there are so many little pieces inside and all around the edges that it felt like a, a good and proper like model building experience. And then there is the Goliath. And unlike the last thing that Mega Constructs did that was called a Goliath, but for a different game, uh, this one's actually scaled decently well. It's a little bit small compared to, as far as I can tell, compared to the Warthog, but it's not bad. It's, you know, it still towers over a figure, which is very important. And this is, you know, with the full gorilla kind of stance. So if it, you know, if it rears up onto just its hind legs, then it gets much taller than that. These spike pieces I'm not familiar with. They are made of a fairly soft rubber. And you can immediately see that there's a lot of articulation built into this thing with a lot of uh, ball joints that are used to you know, allow you to pose it in different ways for some of the like Golo worm detailing on the forearms, uh, the forward arms. They give you prints, so there's actually a print on that side there. There's a print on the other side, and you can see it on the inside of the, the upper arm across. And they actually have a couple of different prints there, so it's not just a repeat that's interesting that they invested to actually give you extra prints for that. This is another very proper build, you know, thing that you really have to put together with a minimum number, an absolute minimum number of specialized, truly specialized parts, the head being one that is conspicuous, and they just use a standardized large ball end piece underneath there to get the the translucent green glow to show through just a little bit. Not too much light comes through there, but you know, you can pose this around and as for the posing of the arms, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this forward and back. You've got twisting all around because these can be twisted all sorts of ways. And then back here, just pretty much what you would expect for legs, plus the ability to rotate things around, twist them around. The only, uh, fragileness on this uh you know some of the some of the recent things <laughs> somewhat relatively recent things that they've done with a lot of joints have been fragile like the cyclopses uh the only thing that's fragile here in my experience is just on the toes so if you grab it by the toes you'll end up you know turning some of those in weird ways and you might pop some of these just kind of toe nails claws off but for the most part you can move this around without the joints popping off so that's good they're not using too many of those smaller ones and where they do they seem to be better i don't know if it's these specific pieces but it works so you can get this into uh, a three-legged pose if you want to for some reason pretty easily and you can get it into some poses that that don't even make sense pretty easy let me get this onto three like this with just one arm up see pretty pretty simple and uh he's kind of kind of reaching forward with that his right rear leg there to give it a little extra balance that's good that's good stuff and i guess i want to do this also get it to rear up on just those hinds get ready to do a smash attack still be looking down there we go that works that works as well and look at how much building is done for the chest which most of the time you don't even see i mean that's a lot of individual pieces and they're stacked up pretty well that was that was nice to see that all come together. Pretty good consistency in the the silver there. You know, silver is one that is a little bit rough, especially with that that high of a metallic silver where you have so many flakes in it. Uh, oftentimes you have a, uh, an issue with different marbling, but these are compatible enough. So I'm satisfied with this thing. Not my favorite unit from the game or anything, but an interesting one to be sure, and pretty well done as a build. The set includes one generic UNSC Marine, with his main accent color being my personal favorite Mega Constructs color. And they even add a little bit of print on the, on the shoulder on one side as well. It's got the SMG, and this, this one is looking pretty good to me. Certainly goes very well with the Forge figure, I'll show you in just a second. And yeah, this will, this will make a very fine addition to my collection, if I may say so. This forge dough. What are they doing? So, prints on the shoulder armor pieces and on 
the, the chest. That's all good. Pretty good detail in there, but I guess the head sculpt is good. This one has a mistake with some extra paint spatters on the sides, but then the hair color and the, the facial hair design, nah. <laughs> Does not look like Forge. Sorry, I'll, I'll take the previous one over this any day. You want it to get a little bit of scruffiness. I mean, the overall positions of where they placed the, the main concentrations of facial hair are correct for Halo Wars 2, but uh, they, they needed to use a lighter color for that, and it needed to be more broad, less well-defined and everything. I don't know. It just it looks more like, a, like a, an old Klingon. An old school Klingon <laughs> than Forge, sorry. It's just not working for me with that head. It's, and it's just the head. Everything else is really good. Again, love that color with the marbling, with the kind of champagne gold color with a little bit of rust built into it. And it's against the kind of desaturated but speckled, slightly greenish color. It's all good except for the head and specifically the paint on the head. Now the set came with this as well, which is interesting. Look at the quality of that, that piece right there. That's a good demonstration of where they're at now. So much, so much better than where they used to be. Still could get better, but uh, it's, it's more than acceptable these days. But yeah, this is just a, basically a clip, a paper clip. It's something designed to be used around your regular life. Basically, it's something to remind you about Vega Constructs. Maybe kids will take it to school, you know, <laughs> use it to hold some papers together, get other kids to look at it and say, hey, Vega Constructs does things other than just basic pieces. Well, that's cool. They also do this now. This is new to me. This is their their version of a brick separator and, and uh, uh, brick, well, I guess, part disassembly tool which features the ability to grab something by the studs off the top pry it off and then pop it off as well so this is just an additional piece that you just slot right in there it's just two parts in total makes for a very interesting tool so you know this this fits into something sorry about the focus there it fits into something like that and once you pry it off then you can just pop it off that's cool you get a bar piece over here for pushing bars out of holes axle piece for pushing axles out this is the width this center section is the width of a single brick and then you've got a bar holder up there i think this may work with some of the, the larger uh, cylinder pieces as well and they also have an anti-stud section down here that can hold studded pieces on it and also bars can fit into there and you get a, a wedge down here for prying things up so that was a cool little addition and kind of shows where they're at with the whole idea of bringing in entirely new pieces new parts with new utility and you'll see a lot more of that coming up the box art style has been updated they kind of took it back a step uh, in a good way i think there's more focus on the products now they toned down the sea of orange quite a bit because you know the orange was very strong until you have a bunch of them together and a bunch of different sets together on shelves and then it would just kind of overwhelm things so there's a little more focus on the product and also the, the sub brand the world if you will which is fine it looks a little bit plain to me i think that's just because i've gotten used to the the bold orange everywhere this is 654 pieces it was 50 dollars us off amazon when i got it your mileage may vary that'll vary you know from place to place uh, I think the value is is okay here. Not that great though. Uh, definitely not the not one of the better value sets that Mega has ever done. I'm sure that prices just in general on things are going up right now. But yeah, you know maybe if you find this to be a little bit a little bit expensive for your tastes, but you're still interested in what it contains, then just wait a little while and hopefully it will come down i don't know we'll see we'll see if they're gonna get any better about distribution with the loss of toys r us at least in the u.s uh, they, their distribution channels have become more strained now i'm sure you know in terms of getting things actually out to uh, out to to store shelves uh, not a lot of stores are carrying a lot of their stuff we'll see how that goes 
uh, some of the sets that we've known for quite some time that are, that are coming up uh, later in the year. Looks like they will be coming out in fall for the most part. Uh, for the most part, this set here, I, I like uh, how they've done stuff. Um, I just don't like the forge and that that's really too bad because I think that what well, they show here, this sample on the box is already a little bit off, but it's so much closer to the real thing than what we get in the set. It's, uh, yeah, that's not the same dude. Come on. You really want that. You really want the main dude in a set. You know, he's a hero character. If, if there's any one character that you want from... UNSC in Halo Wars, one or two, it's most likely Forge. So they messed that up, and that's too bad. So this to me is not a must-buy for collectors. The Hog is really good, but uh, Halo Wars 2, I don't think has kind of the, the clout these days, has the, the, you know, the pull these days that even Halo Wars, the original one, did for quite some time after its release. So I fear that this will not be a very good seller we shall see though i'm glad to finally get something in my hands that's mega constructs and halo again and i'm looking forward to checking out more of them in the future hopefully it won't be too many months until that next release thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this and i'll talk to you again as soon as i can